Dear students, now we are going to discuss measurement of wavelength on transmission line. Wavelength is the distance between two successive maxima or minima values of the voltage or current on the transmission lines. Okay. There are two methods used to measure wavelength in the transmission line. Lecture measurement for open wire line coaxial wave meter. The first one is lecture measurement. In this method, it consists of a parallel wire which is resonant air insulator line. So here we can see the parallel wire system. There is one short circuited slider. This S represents what? Short circuited slider. So here the line is connected with short circuiting slider at one end and the generator at the another end. Okay. Here the slider is, is moving along the transmission line to measure the distance between two successive maximum voltage values. At maximum voltage, the line is resonant. Okay. So resonant condition is also known as the maximum voltage level. That's what given here. The slider is moving along the line to measure the distance between two successive maximum values at which the resonant conditions are achieved. So here the distance is always lambda by 2. Okay. The next method is coaxial wave meter. The wave meter consists of an air insulated coaxial line. Air insulated means in coaxial cable there are two conductors inner conductor and outer conductor. Air is filled in between inner and outer conductor. That is air insulated coaxial line. It is closed at one end and it has movable short circuit at the other end. Okay. Here the source of energy is connected to this wave meter using coupling loop method. That means we can connect the source of energy to this coaxial cable using coupling method. Okay. In this wave meter one end is short circuited by default. The other end is connected with the movable shot. The line short circuited at both ends is resonant when it is an integral multiple of lambda by 2. So for example, if it is having the value, the distance between this end as well as this end is lambda means it is having the resonant condition. If you are moving this light towards this direction, so whenever it reaches the distance like lambda by 2 then can achieve the resonant condition. Do you all understand this point? So the line short circuited at both ends is resonant when it is an integral multiple of lambda by 2 long. Resonant means what? There is some maximum voltage produced. Okay. So we can get only the maximum voltage at the resonant condition. Do you all understand the concept? So here the meter is adjusted to one of this length, then the current in the coupling loop is able to produce an oscillation within the wave meter. That is nothing but the maximum voltage. The distance between two successive oscillations, that is resonant point, is always lambda by 2. So that is the wave measurement using wave meter. The major advantages of this coaxial wave meter are given here wavelength meter has a high quality factor and short